Welcome back to my Bioshock retrospective. 15 years since oops, the first game came out, and we'll be proceeding through it, and then 2, and the expansion on 2, Minerva's Den, and Infinite. We're not touching Burial at Sea, and I will discuss why at that time. We are in Neptune's Bounty, on our way to get the research camera. Is that where we go? Oh, there. Uh, I think I, I don't remember if I missed a spot or not. I do know that if I go in this door... Oh, I can't go in that. No, I can go this way. can't hack that, it's too tall, so we'll blow it up. Oh, oh! So much stuff! Oh, I didn't want to do that. Alright, well. So we're in Neptune's bounty, headed for the research camera to get for Peach Wilkins. Hanging now, is it? That's what we've come to now. Look, I don't make the laws here. I just enforce them. But I didn't come to rapture the string men up for running contraband. If Ryan and his crew have their law, then they can have my badge. Okay, so, as has been discussed earlier, for objectivism, you know, while you're not obligated to help others, certainly you can if you want to, well, you're not obligated to help others, it is accepted as part of the philosophy that you do not hurt them. Yeah, so you're concerned, to, you know, your primary motivation is yourself, but you can't harm others in the pursuit of your own interests. As a result... Okay, we're going to do this before I get really annoyed with this game. Okay, so that was fun. Now craziness happens, like that. So... You're not supposed to cause harm. The danger of capital punishment always is that an innocent person could get wrongfully convicted and then killed as a result, executed. That danger makes capital punishment incompatible with objectivism. It, you, because again, you're you're risking... Oops. I don't care about security bullseye, so we'll store this in the That was fun. Yay for Tannenbaum. White, tall, short, weak, strong. But the slugs alone are not enough. I'll need money. And one other thing. So as a result of that, Ryan again, we see, is betraying his own philosophy by going along with capital punishment. And there's no moral reason to object to it. I always get stuck here for some reason. There's no moral reason to object to to object to capital punishment as far as objectivism is concerned. Mm, 
figure it out later. But, oh, I think it happens after you get your pictures. But you simply can't do it as a, out of the danger to others. I do use the research camera, as tedious as it is, because I like the perks that you get from it. So I apologize in advance. So <laughs> Tannenbaum sees what the score is, and this is way before you have plasmids. Uh, Jet Postal, because we need film. So insofar as keeping Rapture a secret, Ryan's desire to prevent contact with the uh, the surface as a, and cut off smuggling as a result is a necessity, and it's understandable. However, it must be pointed out that you're right. Uh, Rapture only exists because of the resources of the surface. So Ryan is denying others of what he himself used to make Rapture work. And I don't know, under the circumstances, Yo, know, because of what Rapture, because Rapture has to exist. Crap. Run! Because Rapture, he intends Rapture to exist and not get caught up in the surface. This makes a certain amount of sense, but it does seem like a bit of a violation of... Uh, 
it does seem like a bit of a violation of his own again philosophy this one I suppose you, you get a pass on because of the extenuating circumstances now I don't want to waste ammo on you really But then the fact that Ryan failed to anticipate that there would be a desire for resources from the surface, I think again displays that it is just utter failure in his own goals. I mean, this is, this is not a clever person we're dealing with. He had an idea as far as Rapture goes to have this isolated world as a petri dish for his own ideals. But um, beyond, beyond that idea, he utterly failed to innovate as we'll see to survive in his own in, in his own um, ideal environment right, let's go uh, get out of my way thank you oh I don't waiting for them is such a pain in the ass we're going to buy a little more health because the spider splicers are a pain in the ass at this level. They get much easier later. Okay. Okay, that was a good time. Alright, back up this way. And of course, the irony, I suppose, is that objectivism, if you cannot innovate, um, if you can't find ways to compete with others, if you can't find ways to compete with others, then you will simply fail to get anywhere. I'm sorry, but I'll be late again tonight. Rosenberg is demanding to speak about this Fontaine business. I'm trying to build a proper financial market, and this idiot keeps going on about Adam this, genetic modification, that. I'll go spend an hour pretending to pay attention to the poor fellow and be home as soon as I can. Okay, so 
That recording right there, I think, is the greatest example, possibly in the entire game, of Ryan's utter failure to understand what is going on. And the fact that here with Fontaine, Fontaine exceeded at Ryan's own own ideals. And this is where I think you get into the problem with objectivism is and whether or not it would have doomed Rapture from the start, I don't know. Because objectivism, as part of its philosophy, requires that you do no harm to others, it is, frankly, inherently incompatible with human nature. I'll be quiet, we know you're lying. Yay. If humans were in general more more generous benign lot, then objectivism would be fine. Because everybody would pursue their own thing, they wouldn't attempt to gain advantage maliciously over others. And yes, it is a, it would be unfortunate that it doesn't support any kind of charity to help those who are not succeeding. But it would not it would not injure them either okay this i think is a good place to stop if you enjoy the video please click like if you think i'm crazy please comment um, if you're enjoying the series definitely subscribe to find out when new videos come out um, any engagement at all of course always helps and gets the video in front of more people and i will see you next time peace out